Hey people, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different for this month. Instead of reading a script word for word, I'm just going to talk, you know? I'm going to have some notes with me just to remind me of what I want to talk about and stuff like that. I'm doing this mainly because I want to be able to talk on the fly. Having a script is good and all, but sometimes you, you need to learn how to talk. It's going to be edited, of course, because, let's be honest, nobody's perfect at talking on the first try. So, with that out of the way, let's get started on the video. Alright, so the idea I got for this picture was that I was meditating and I got an idea to make a lion protecting a sheep. And I was thinking about that one verse where where Jesus is the Lion of Judah, and we are his sheep. And since we are his sheep, he is our shepherd too, and he will lay down his life for the sheep. And I thought, huh, you know what would be cool? If there was a lion protecting a sheep and the sheep was hiding in his mane, wouldn't that be cute? So I did that. And of course, I made it a big, poofy mane. So you know, I like big, poofy manes. They're just, they're a lot of fun to paint. I like making texture like leaves and hair and stuff like that. So of course I turned that mane into a bush and added a bunch of pretty flowers to it because I like flowers. And also flowers represent life and Jesus is life so it makes it okay to add flowers. I guess you could say that the overall meaning behind this picture is about God's love and how he cares for us, he protects us, and, you know, lays down his life for us. So that's kind of what I wanted to convey with this picture. I tried to make the lion look kind of like a real lion, but also kind of in my style too, you know, the big eyes and the kind of odd-shaped face. I, it doesn't look completely like a lion, I'll, I'll say that. but. I tried. You can't say I didn't try, that's for sure. As for the lamb, it's the same story, honestly. Now we get to the fun part of the painting, which is the colors. The colors I used for this painting are apricot, conquered grape, petunia purple, bright magenta, pink parfait, King's Gold, Yellow Flame, Sun-Kissed Peach, and Tropic Orange. The reason why I picked these colors is because, well, I thought going with pink and red was a little overrated, so I decided to go with pink and orange instead. And then I thought, you know, maybe pink and orange isn't enough. Maybe I should add some other colors too. So I had purple and uh, yellow. And they kind of reminded me of a sunset, which I liked, and I thought they were so pretty together. And plus, I always use blues and stuff like that, and I thought it would be neat to try to challenge myself into using colors that weren't blue, and try to make them resemble stuff like bushes and flowers and all that other stuff. So, yeah. Okay, so for the background, I basically kind of made it like a uh, sunset transition because I didn't want just one solid color. And also, I thought that would be cool and that, you know, the lion would be able to stick out from uh, the background. After that, I of course put in the base coat for the lion and the lamb. I used apricot for the base of the lion because in real life, lions are kind of yellowish. They're probably not that yellow, but you know what? It's not supposed to be that realistic anyway, so who cares? But also, I wanted it to stand out from the mane because I was planning on using Conquered Grape as the mane because it's the darkest color and also it's the closest to looking like a blue, which I can use to make leaves and stuff like that. All right, so now that the base coat is done, we can actually start working on the details of the lion. 
I decided to do the mane first because it was behind the lion and it would just be easier to work on. For the base lighting, I used bright magenta. Let me just take a moment to say that this color surprised me the most, if that makes any sense. Basically, I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit more pinker, and I was not expecting that much red from it, and I'm just going to say it right now, I really like those kinds of pinks. I like red pinks. I like how there's like a lot of red, but not too much red so you can see that it's pink, and I just really like those kinds of colors, so I really like bright magenta. Alright, so the next color I used for the lighting was a color called Tropic Orange. My dog is scratching outside my door. <laughs> okay, anyway, about this color, I really like this color. I like how pink it is, I like how orange it is. Basically, it's a nice combination of those two colors, and it just looks so pretty. I mean, look at it. The next color I used for the lighting was apricot. And you know, it's a nice color. It's a nice yellowish, orangish color, and I like the name. It's, it's the name of a fruit, and I think fruit have great names. Alright, so for the under lighting, I used pink parfait. This color is a nice pink color. I like it. Of course, the main reason why I used it for underlining was because A. I wasn't using it anywhere else and 2. I needed some color to underline and I was already using all the other colors for other things, so I went with this. Alright, so the next thing I worked on was the face of the lion. I started out by adding in the eyes and the nose using Concord Grape. Then after that, I added the shading to the face. I used bright magenta because I thought it would look better than using purple. Because yellow and purple are complementary colors, which means that they are on the opposite side of the spectrum. And I thought it would look a little too muddy to add a uh, purple for shading, you know? So I went with a reddish pinkish color because I thought that would look a lot nicer. Of course, later on, I did add some purple, but that's only to like the reddest parts of the lion, and so it won't look as muddy. Alright, now this is the fun part. For the lighting and the fur texture, I used Sunkissed Peach and Yellow Flame. Sunkissed Peach is a very pretty color. I like the, the orange soft look that a peach has, so I like it. Yellow Flame was a pretty strange color to use. It was kind of a neon color like you would see with highlighters and stuff. So it wasn't easy to find a way to work it in. And I kind of had to blend it in with the fur texture so I could say that I used it. Speaking of which, I said that I used King's Gold for this picture. And... That's true and all, but I only used it for the eyebrows and stuff, and you can barely even notice because Apricot and King's Gold were pretty similar in color, so yeah. After I added the fur and stuff like that, I just went back in with a pencil and sharpened up the details so it was easier to see. Alright, so for the eyes, I just took a tiny bit of bright magenta it's not too opaque, it's just, you know, enough to make it kind of noticeable. And I also added some bright magenta to the nose for lighting. I also added some sun-kissed peach to the shine of the eyes and the nose to make it more lifelike. Next up was the lamb. I pretty much did the same thing as the lion, except, you know, I was trying to make it look more like a lamb instead of a lion, and also I used Tropic Orange as the base coat instead of apricot. The reason why I went with Tropic Orange is because I wanted it to stand out from the background. After I finished the lamb, I started working on the flowers. And it was pretty difficult to find colors that would stand out from the main, but also make sense in the lighting situation. For example, I wanted to use Petunia Purple even though I was already using 
that color in the darker part of the mane, and I didn't really know how to make it stand out, so I ended up using pink parfait as the underlighting, or you know, the outline, so that it would stand out a little better, and it worked, kind of. It was the same situation for the lighter parts of the painting too. I originally went with like a yellow color, I forget which one though, and it was fine at the darker parts, but as I got to the top, it started to blend in, so I ended up using sun-kissed peach for the very top of the flower, so that it would uh, make sense and also stand out. But then I ended up going over everything with colored pencil, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. Alright, I'm done with this painting. I just need to tear off the washi tape. If you don't use washi tape for your paintings, I highly recommend getting it because it looks pretty, it doesn't tear off the paper, and it keeps paint out. Alright, now the piece is done. And I kinda like the way it looks. I'm not really sure if I like the uh, harsh outlines around the leaves and stuff like that, but it's not too bad. I don't think it takes away from the painting all that much. To be honest, I had a lot of fun making this. The colors I used and the way I applied them reminds me of the time I used to make digital art. Except this time, I actually enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about what I mean, I made a whole another video discussing this topic. It's kind of old though, so please don't be too mean. But anyway, when I say that it reminds me of digital art, I mean that, that I used to use a lot of uh, yellow for my lighting. I wasn't really too creative with that, and I would use warmer and then cooler tones for the shading and stuff like that, and the way I used the texture Reminds me of how I used to make texture for fur and leaves and stuff like that. And the way I outline stuff, it re really reminds me of digital art. Except this time, I actually enjoyed it. So, I know I already said that, but you know. But I'm still glad I made this because it represents how Jesus loves us and protects us. And I hope this picture is able to remind people of how he cares about us so that they don't feel alone and afraid. If you would like to have this picture to remind you who's on your side, I have prints that are available on my art pal, which I will link in the description below. If you would like to see more art to inspire and minister to you, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter, which I will also link below. But as always, thank you for watching and God bless you.